Hey guys, hope you're doing well and uh, today I'm very excited to make this video. Two reasons. One, I'm using my Sony ZV-1 which is going to be my main vlogging camera and a camera which I bought for product reviews. So guys, in this video we will be talking about a uh, flash drive which I've ordered. It's an external storage. So here is the product and I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox it and I'm going to show you uh, how it looks and what comes in the box. To fit this in, so you need an enclosure. So that is the enclosure which I've ordered. So guys, you can see the first thing is that, um, as I said, I've ordered this NVMe2 from Intel. It's called the SSD6. Uh, so once when you open up the box, it shows you SSD6, a very big six letter written on it. Let's go ahead and open this up and uh, let's break the security seal and see how it is from inside. It comes in cardboard and uh, it's, uh, you know, it's quite well protected. So I've taken it out of the box. It comes in this um, sort of, you know, when I, when I just took it out from the main box, there was this cardboard piece and inside uh, you have this Intel booklet which says Intel solid state drive. So apart from that, uh, what I have is the NVMe2 M2 uh, SSD enclosure. So you definitely need this because without this, you can't, uh, you can't use it. And uh, um, of course, uh, you need an enclosure so that you can connect it to your computer. As soon as you take it out of the box, um, it's in this plastic shell. It's got this shell over here and inside you have the enclosure and the build quality is pretty cool. You can see. Yeah. And what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and install the SSD inside here. So installation is quite simple. All you need to do is you just need to uh, push the top part of the enclosure. So installation is quite simple. I'm just holding this SSD and I'm gonna show you that uh, you see this cut. So that is the cut for the NVMe2. So before you slide in, just make sure because uh, the rear, the rear end has to be screwed down onto the board. So they give you this handy screwdriver, which is really helpful. Okay guys, that is the final product. It's metal on the top and that's sort of a heat sink because obviously it can become hot. So let's go ahead and uh, plug this in and check out the speed of this product. So the first time when you connect your uh, SSD, which is over here, uh, you know, it has this blue light on it and it'll say initialize. So you need to initialize it. If you don't initialize it, then it won't work on your MacBook. Let's check out the speed on this drive. So um, first of all, we need to go into the uh, disk speed test from Blackmagic. It's start. So guys, as you can see instantly, the write speed is uh, 400 megabits per second and the read speed is roughly four to 500 megabits per second. So even if it's giving us 500 megabits per second read and write speed roughly, that is a lot of speed to do all your work. And I'm really happy for this, this, this investment because one, it's quite handy as you can see over here and you know, easy to carry. And secondly, um, it's, uh, you know, it's got this warranty, it's from Intel. So I'm very happy with that. So guys, if you are planning to uh, buy an external storage, go for the, the uh, Intel NVMe2 SSD and the Caddy from Orico. Uh, it, Altogether costed me the two terabytes for 220 pounds, which is maybe $250, uh, which is not a bad investment if you are planning to back up your data. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it that thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel because uh, it really helps me to put other content out and I will be posting other videos. So catch you in my next video. Bye for now, guys.